Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, y'all? I want to see if I can make a dinosaur with like seven or eight spheres in like 10 minutes. So let's see if we can. I'm not counting the cylinder. This is just the floor. So I have like a like a base for his legs. It doesn't count. So here's the first sphere. I'm just going to validate it. And I'm going to make this the body. And this is going to be, let's clone it. And let's make this one the tail. Let's clone the body again and make this legs. And let's clone that and make this arms, or I guess they're front, front legs. Front legs, legs, body. Let's clone this and make this the head. Okay, so head will be on top. So let's take the head and make it somewhere up here, maybe a little like higher. Yeah, somewhere up there, maybe a little smaller. The body. Oh, how did I choose the body? I have all those spheres there. So the body, maybe we'll make it around here. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll stretch it out a little bit. So maybe we'll start there. Let's do the tail. Let's move the tail out. And I think that's actually good. Maybe here. So let's take the legs. These are going to be the back legs. I don't know why I'm doing it in profile, but I guess I'm doing it in profile. Maybe I should spin everything forward. I want to spin everything forward, so I'm going to grab everything except for the base. I'm going to hit snap and just put it forward. I think that'll be easier. So let me just make sure that I can still add a mirror. Oh, ooh. Interesting. So... Before I move the leg, let me take the leg. Let me just try to snap that to the side. Oh, I can't tell though. So here's the top. Um, I should leave it. I should leave the legs. That's what I should do. I should leave the legs. Kind of messed everything up i kind of messed everything up i think um oh well so the legs i can probably just change my symmetry i wonder if i can change the symmetry and add the mirror no. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know what I did, but it worked. Um, I'm just going to clone this. Let's get rid of the front arms. I'm just going to clone this. And this will be the front legs. It would have been easier if I would have just did it forward. I don't know why I didn't do that. But sometimes you... Sometimes that happens. So here's the front legs. I mean, it's already kind of cute. Oh, I didn't time myself either. So let me turn this off. So I need to use, I think I need to use Z for all of these. Let me do show line. Why don't I see, why can't I see the line? What are we doing here? There we go. Z. So since I turned it to the side, you just have to change everything to Z, which is not ideal, but it's what, it's what we got. So now, because when I use symmetry, I want to use, I want to pull this tail down. Like so. Yep. 
Okay, nice. I'm going to do the same thing with the head. Make sure we have symmetry on. Good. We have Z. Um, so we'll do something like this. And even up here, we can stretch this out. Something like this. Maybe I'll move it up and out a little bit more. Seems like it need, might need to be a little bit bigger. Yes. So I'll bring this down because I want it to be like flush with the body, kind of. And the back part, it would be nice if I can get this flush with the body. So I'm just going to kind of push and pull. And I can actually use the body too and kind of make it work. Oh, I kind of like this, kind of like that roundness. Okay, I think that looks good. Ooh, is it too a little bit too big now? Okay, I kind of like that. So now let's take these and uh, I kind of like them pudgy, but they're a little too pudgy. So let's take the, we don't need symmetry, I don't think. Let's just kind of move them. Just kind of move them into place, I think. Like that. Let's take the front ones. And let's make them a little bit smaller, move them in. And then with move, I'm just gonna kind of have to figure out the shape. I kind of like this like ultra round, minimalistic shape. I think that's kind of cute. And it would be nice for the back too, but Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that looks cute. So let's trim, let's trim these legs right underneath. Oh, duh! I can, I can check the. Let's trim the back of this tail too, just so everything is nice and flat. Uh, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to validate the front legs and I'm going to validate the back legs actually too. So with the front legs, if I don't have symmetry on, what we could do is we could actually add a little bit of a little bit of movement. Like if we want to make one with his little foot up, we could do that. I don't know if we want to or not, but ooh, let's do inflate. Maybe we want to do a little inflate on here. Oh, maybe we should just voxel remesh everything together. Let's voxel remesh everything together. I'm going to do a quick save. This is going to be Dino 10. Uh, so yeah, we already saved it. So let's take everything except for the floor. And we probably have to do, we probably have to, oh, we can't multi-res. So we'll just remesh everything together. Okay. And we'll kind of smooth everything out. Okay, that looks good. And we have a little bit of difference in the with the feet. I kind of like that. So let's take inflate and see if we can tear symmetry off. I just want to have some like little Yeah. Kind of smooth them out a bit. Ooh. I like them better round though. For this one, uh, we'll do inflate again, and we can just add them kind of down here. And maybe we'll add them here as well. I feel like we need one more under here. Add 
Add those three back there. That looks good. Uh, let's voxel remesh. Let's do a quick save and then voxel remesh everything again just to kind of make everything a little bit stronger. I'm going to take flatten. I'm going to hit solo so I can see the underside. And I just want to flatten the flat parts of his little toes. Okay. We'll have to trim those again. We can unsolo it. So now we need to make a mouth. I might use it with trim. Uh, let's see. Let's just try a test. Just see how this looks. I think that looks good. I think that looks nice. So let's take... I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can spin the whole thing yet. So this is the main, so this is dyno. Uh, if I use gizmo and spin it, Okay, it's still the same. That's fine. So if I add a sphere, oh, the sphere isn't in the center though. Oh, I wonder if I can bake this or reset it. Nope. Bake, move origin. I just want to get it back in the middle. Okay, I think that did it. I think that did the trick. Let's do a quick save. So now if I want to mirror this, so if I hit mirror, I don't think it's going to mirror the way that I want. Oh, it did. That's right. I forgot because I, I changed it. So we just need to make some eyes. Oh, I'm already on 12 minutes. I failed. <laughs> oh, well. You failed. But did I fail? I'm trying to figure out how I want the eyes. Let me take it off snap. That's why it's not. I kind of like that. So this is really just going to be. Um, let's validate these. And let's voxel re actually you know before we voxel remesh let's go ahead and trim these feet again oops with rectangle so we'll trim those feet again and now we can take the dyno and the mirror let's do a quick save and voxel remesh everything together see how this looks it's got his little mouth now Looks good, just make it nice and soft. These look good. Um, okay, I think that looks fine. Let's take mask and you know, kind of tilt down a little bit. Let's take mask and go something like this. Fill it in, and let's take a little bit off here. And maybe I want to mask a little bit more here. Okay, so we'll do something like that. We'll reverse, we'll invert the mask, and then we'll use our gizmo. We'll push this back. Oy. Make it smaller. So we'll push it back like that. Good. Let's get rid of the mask. So we'll clear that. We'll, vo we'll voxel remesh it again. And then we'll smooth it. Wow, it's huge. I think I'm going to take a little bit off smooth, 50%, maybe. So that looks good. Let's take flatten and then flatten out. And it's just something I always do. I just always think it looks, looks better this nice and flat like that. 
think that looks good. Do we want more nose? Because there is a trick. I could probably just use a sphere. I could probably just use a sphere. Oh, what did I just... I messed with something. And you could probably... I know this looks crazy right now, but... So now if I validate this, I can take move and kind of just make whatever kind of nose I want or like snout. If I want to do like, oh, I wasn't supposed to add another shape, was I? That's okay. I don't think you guys are really bothered with me adding more shapes. Maybe something like that is cuter. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back to the body and just uh, bring these the mouth up a little bit more. Let's do clay, uh, not sub, and let's add some we'll add some cheeks up here. So we'll add some nice round cheeks. Ooh, those are super round. Smooth those out. Hopefully, you should bring it down some. I'm gonna do some clay underneath so it's not so sharp there. Okay, that should be all right. Okay, so let's take uh, the mirror and this. Let's voxel remesh everything together. And then let's smooth everything again. Oh, symmetry, come on. Being in my existence. Okay, if we want to make this, oh, it's a little too like round and, oh, wait a minute, this is, this is messed up. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Where did I do that? supposed to be just a regular sphere see how you just like you mess up one thing by not putting symmetry on and it just like messes up everything and it's super annoying so I got to do that again I need to I want to widen out the front part of this make it a little more square I think I like that. So I have to do all this over again. But that's okay. You know, it's not the... It's okay. I'll survive. And normally what happens if I ha if that happens and I have to do something again, I usually do it a little bit better. So. Alright, good. So let's save. Let's take both of these and box or remesh together. Now everything should be good. Symmetry is on. Smooth that out. Looks great. We'll smooth out the eyes a little bit too. Flatten them a little bit more. Let's smooth underneath here. And let's take drag and we need to like, yeah, we want to make the, we want to accentuate this cheek going up. So we might have to pull these cheeks up a little bit too. That sounded weird to say. Okay, I think that works. Maybe a little flatten might help too. No, I don't like the flatten. I think it's better like this. Good. Let's use two 
Uh, do we want to use spheres or cylinders? Let's use two cylinder, two spheres. Or I shouldn't say two spheres, sphere mirrored. So we'll just mirror it and then use the gizmo. out maybe okay so you know what we'll do with these let's just clone all of oh yeah I didn't even do that clone so let's take this and then validate it and these will be uh, nostrils and this will be teethies aka teeth so now we can move these down. We'll just bend them a little bit, maybe stretch them out a little bit. Oh no. Let's use a line. A line should keep them. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's validate. Let's use flatten and just flatten the bottom. Okay, do we want to use another? It looks good. We could make more teeth, but maybe I'll just add another sphere for the tongue. validate it mm -hmm. be careful doing that uh, careful doing that I meant to do this smaller maybe a little bit flatter maybe wider okay that actually looks good the only thing that annoys me is that there's not enough like room in the middle of the mouth so let me just try to use drag just kind of like try to drag that back a little bit. And just create a little bit of inside of the mouth. Oh, you know what we have to move? We have to move this up. So there's just a little more room in there. Okay. Oh, and you know what else? We don't really need to do this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take layer with sub. Just make a little room in there for it. So let's voxel remesh and then smooth it. I think this should be okay. Okay, I always voxel re whoops, voxel remesh a little bit. In there just to get some depth this is how I get in the weeds from like these little tiny like details but anyway I like that let's just add some eyes so another more spheres 
I've been wanting to do this actually for a while. Sometimes like I have ideas and I just, I think I just take too long when I'm sculpting and I just, so then like I don't want to do it. Or, like I want to do it, but uh, let's take this and clone it and make this one P1 for the pupils. So I just clone the whole thing, hide them for now though. That way we can still work on the eyes. Figure out where the eyes should should be and should go, and how big they should be. Oh, that looks okay. But why are the? Let's validate and figure out why the eye sockets look too big. Maybe we can fill these out like this, just with the good old fashioned move. that looks good let's give it a nice little smooth okay i think that looks lovely so let's take uh p1 again so these are the pupils so we'll move those in towards each other let's make them smaller number one let's flatten them oh that's going to be an issue isn't it that's going to be an issue. This is kind of what I want to do, but the you know what the problem is. Oh, you know we might be able to do it. Let's delete this and let's take this clone and then name this P one. It might be a little bit better because the fact that we clone the eye shape already, which might be the issue. Let's see. It might not help at all actually. I thought it would help with the shape. But I think the problem is, is that the eye is not, um, the eye is not round, so it's not going to help really. So I need to go back to the other one. The other one's better. So this is better. Let's try fixing this. So let's just take flatten. And let's try to just flatten out the forward facing part of the eyes. Because we have the shape. The shape looks fine. I feel like it's not flattening. You better be flattening. Well, hopefully that's flattening. Let's smooth it. Oh, something like there's an issue. Did I run out of battery? I think I ran out of battery. Ah, oh, 